The next part of DV we're going to discuss is going to be the theme builder. Now, this area here is so important because it helps make your website very, very consistent. For example, if you're designing your website and you really want to make some changes on the footer or certain parts of the page, it will really take too long if you're going to go into each individual page. So this is where the theme builder comes in. And a lot of designers out there you actually neglect this theme builder. So I want to show you how to utilize it and use it in your designs moving forward. So let's dive in. So over here, we are on our WordPress admin dashboard. So to go to the theme builder, we need to come over here to Divi and then click on theme builder. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open the theme builder here in a new tab. Why? Because I really want to show you what things look like before we go to the theme builder. So this is what happens when we go to the theme builder. Right now, there's nothing here. So if we go back to our site and just take a quick look and see what our site looks like, we notice that we don't have a header, we don't have a footer, and pretty much this is a standard website. But ideally, we want to go in and start making areas really global, areas that affect the whole website. So to achieve this, we need to use a theme builder. So this theme builder, the way it works is you add your global items here, and you can also add templates that target specific pages or specific areas of your website. For example, let's say you want to add a 404 page so over here if i were to go to a page that does not exist so i'm just going to type in some gibberish here and i hit enter you see it just says no results found now this is not a good way of uh, showing the results of uh, things that don't exist on your website ideally you want to create a 404 page so if i come over here i just want to do this quickly for you so if i come over here and create a brand new template i can just click here and I can now target the template I need to build. So let's say it's a 404. So I can scroll all the way down here and here we go, 404 page. So if I now say create template, I can go into the body here, build custom body. Now notice that we are going to get an interface that is similar to what we discussed earlier on, which is the DV theme builder itself. So now we have an area here where we can go in and add our row. So let's say we're going to add our row and we're also going to add a uh, let's add a blurb. There we go. So for this area here, I'm just going to say error 404. Okay, I'm just going to snap this over to the left. And then over here, I'm just going to say the page you are trying to access does not exist. Click here to uh, go to the home page. Okay, so this is my message. So this click here to go home, I can just uh, come in here, cl click here on this little icon this chain icon and i can add my home page over here so i'm just going to add a blank one for now and then what i can do now is to stylize this design so i'm going to come over here to design click here on this arrow 404 change my font so let's say my font needs to be poppins now this is a very good uh video because i'm actually showing you how to use the builder or how to design certain elements on your page so i'm going to choose arrow 404 i'm going to choose my font here i'm going to make it bold and I'm going to increase the size. I'm also going to make it centered. And this text here, remember, I click on the paintbrush tool. So if I click here, I can center it. I can also choose poppins. Here it is. I can make it slightly bigger. Let's go with uh, 18. And uh, if I go back to the content here, on image and icon, I want to choose an icon. So let's choose an alert. And here we go. So we have an, uh, some alerts here. Let me go with this one. We may also want to change the uh, the color. So I'm going to click here on the paintbrush tool. And now we can choose the icon color and the icon background color. So I'm going to go with, um, oops. Nope, that doesn't work. Let's try this. Okay, I think I'll go with the icon color. That color right there. And now I can now save and save everything. Okay, so what I've just done here is designed the area that um, affects my 404 page. So if I close out of here now, I want to disable the header and uh, the footer as well, and then hit save changes. So now let's visit our website and let us now uh, add some gibberish here. This is a page that does not exist, or exist on our website. So remember, we did, not, we did not have a results page that looked great, but now look at this. We have designed a custom error page, and this now 
has become part of our website. Now, do you realize how powerful this is? We have actually created a 404 page for our entire website. So if someone does go to a wrong place, they get this error page. We can add a video on this. We can add graphics on it. We can add buttons on it. We can even redirect them to certain parts of the website. Pretty much you can do whatever you want with this 404 page. And whatever design you come in here and update, it's going to affect pretty much everything. So that's one example. Now, remember, I mentioned that we have so many pages that we can create here. So if I click on this plus button again, uh, we can see we can uh, set up our templates here for our blogs. We can set it for specific categories. We can set it for archive pages, author pages, and all the projects. Now, here's one thing that is very interesting. If we were to, uh, let's say, install WooCommerce, WooCommerce will be added to the templates, which means you can create product pages based on your templates. So you really want to come over here and spend quite a lot of time working with these templates. Now, let me do one more example. The next example here is to add a footer to our website, and this footer is going to affect the entire website. So let's go ahead and do that. So if I come over here, in fact, before I do that, let's take a look and see what our footer looks like. So this is our footer. So we are going to design a custom one. So I'm going to come over here to add global footer, build global footer. Now I can go in and um, start adding my content. So I'm going to add with this, I'm going to start with a single column. So in this column, we're going to add text. Okay, so this is going to be my main heading. So I'm going to say about us and we are going to set this to heading three. Excellent. I'm going to save that. I'm going to add another one. Now, do you notice that I don't have the ability to go in and add another module? This is where now you have to be creative with what I uh, demonstrated uh, initially, which is coming over here to expand settings. And then you want to switch over here to wireframe mode. So now I can just go in, click on this plus button, add my text module like that. Switch over here to this mode so I can see what I'm typing. So this becomes my homepage uh, about, in fact, let me go to text mode because I don't want, I don't like the spaces. So let's go to about us. Uh, let's go with uh, how we started. And let's say terms. So these are the links. So what I can do now is I can go in. In fact, let's get rid of home. Uh, so now I can go in and say, right, so this needs to link to the about page. I'm just going to add a blank link. This one here can link to the how we started page. This is where you'd add your URL. This one here is where you'd add your terms. I'm going to add my URL like that. Excellent right? So this is our text. Now let's stylize it, make it look great. But before we do that, let's give this a background color. So I'm going to come over here now to my section and give this a section background. So I want to go in and give this a really dark background. So I'm going to go in here, bring this all the way down like that. So that's going to be my color. I'm going to save that. And now I can go into my text module here and start changing things. So for this first one here, I'm going to click here and now we're on heading three. Let's set this to poppins and let's change our color as well. So there's our color. Ideally, I want this bold and I want it all caps. All right, great. So that's my text over there. I'm going to save that. Now I'm going to take a look at this text here on the bottom. I'm going to go into my settings. Click here on the uh, paintbrush tool. Go into my text. Change this to poppins. Increase the size a little bit change the colors. Oh, in fact, you know what? It's the links I need to change. So here we are. I can change the colors like that. Uh, maybe I should go with the grayish color. There we go. All right. So I think I'm happy with that. And I just need to reduce this distance here. So I'm going to drag up like that. So that now is the beginning of my column. So what I can then do is I can go into my row settings so we can decide how many columns we need to have. Let's just duplicate these. So let's say we're going to have four columns and these can be different items here on our footer. 
I can save this. Now, if I save this completely, I want you to notice what happens now. We're going to close out of here, save changes. And now when I go to uh, any of my pages on my site and refresh, notice what happens. Let's get rid of our 404 here. Let's go to our homepage. There we go. Now we have a footer. Isn't that cool? So if we go to a sample page, same thing. We're going to have a consistent footer. Now let's say at some point you decide, you know what, I want to change this footer here. You can come over here back to your theme builder. So notice that we're doing everything on the theme builder. We're not doing this on an individual page. So we can go in and say, you know what, uh, maybe we can change some colors here. So you go in and uh, you decide for our text settings, we can decide, you know what, let's just add, let's just lower this a little bit because it's too bright. So they're about, okay, so that's looking great. I'm going to save and then save this one more time. And now when we come over here and refresh, that color we've just adjusted has now been applied across the whole website. So this is why you need to use templates in your designs. You can also do the same for your header area. You can go in, add your design, your header, design your contents for your main page area, design your content for your footer area. If you have other plugins, you can also utilize this template to really customize those areas of your website. So the theme builder here is super powerful and I highly recommend that you use uh, this theme builder as you're designing your website.